uh-oh, usually the power of Super Dragons is keeping your heroes alive all the way to the back end of the base, but his heroes got absolutely wrecked. The queen's already dead. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the grand finals of the Queso Cup playoffs. One of these two teams will win first place in the Queso Cup playoffs tournament. They'll be taking home $30,000. Second place will get $15,000. Third place, Strut, got $5,000. But the winner of this playoffs will get the golden ticket, the first golden ticket of the year and will be participating in the World Championship Finals later at the end of the year, whenever they are. It's between X-Team and Peru Mania. Now, just to let you guys know, based on the format of this tournament, the top two seeds got two lives. As you guys saw, if you were watching all my videos earlier, X-Team already lost to Peru Mania like three matches ago or so. So X-Team on their last life, Peru Mania still have both lives. I know it's a little confusing, but think of it kind of like as double elimination for the top two seeds. So, X-Team have to beat Peru Mania two times in a row. <clears throat> right here, if they want to win. Peru Mania only have to beat X-Team one more time, because they already did it once. But let's see, this match could be over in one match. Or, if X-Team win this match, it could go to another match. And that one would be sudden death, winner takes all. But let's see what's going to happen on this one in particular. XBB in with the first attack, bringing us more of his Valkyrie smash. Oh, baby. Early rage. Valkyries are in on the top side. He did Sneaky Goblin the Town Hall with the invisibility spell. Pops a warden ability here for everybody as we make our way through the core with the jump spell. Headhunters take out the enemy king. Nice. Royal Champions in from the left side. Okay. We got Skeleton spell. We got Valkyries taking out the scatter shot. Queen grabbing the expo on the right. Everything's just splitting off in different directions. We rage the king. And the royal champion might be able to use that rage a little bit as well. Warden has the healers. That's actually not ideal. Healers switch to the queen as soon as I say that. Wow, it's like they're listening to me. Queen's going to pop her ability. She'll go back up, get the archer tower. Then she'll beat on a wall. The royal champion still has her ability. We've got a freeze and an invisibility spell to use. It's smash, bro. XBB makes the Valkyries look easy. Ooh, lots of skeleton traps to distract us down south. RC switches targets, but we got the invis to help her out. We still got her ability. All four heroes are still alive, bro. What an attack. Of course, the king dies right as I say that, but it's a three star all day long. And look at him doing the dance again. XBB and his dances as he gets the three stars. LOL, what a guy. It's a three star and what a way to start this match. Alberto is in with the first attack for Peru Mania, bringing us a little super dragon action. Peru Mania love their hybrid attacks and their air spam attacks. And let's see if they can get it done here with the super drags to kick things off. He's got two skeleton spells to use. Is he gonna sneaky the town hall? Yeah, I think he is. Has to get through that elixir store and he does. Maybe one more test sneaky for the town hall, for the traps. Doesn't seem to be a lot of traps there. He's gonna use one more test just to be sure, because he's like, what? No traps? Okay, here we go. The rest of the sneakies are in. Nail the invisibility spell. Perfect. Okay. King over on the right, town hall goes down. Queen behind the king. Where do we send the dragons? Through the eagle artillery? Maybe? Yep. Eagle artillery. Gonna go down nice and early. Super Dragons are in. Stone Slammer as well. Warden, early as heck, Warden ability. King pops his ability, trying to take out the enemy queen, but he doesn't get there. Vessels and Skelly Traps absolutely wreck that Barbarian King, dude. Uh-oh. And the queen's getting wrecked too. Bro, his heroes are not getting good value. Uh-oh. Usually the power of Super Dragons is keeping your heroes alive all the way to the back end of the base, but his heroes got absolutely wrecked. The queen's already dead. Oh my, it's going to be up to the Super Dragons and the Royal Champion. Dude, this could be a defense. This could be a big defense for Din Din of X-Team. Royal Champion used on the top right side of the base. There's a Lava Hound in the defense. Defense of CC that just came out. It's distracted by the skeleton spells for now. I'm about to sneeze. Uh oh. Allergic to spam attacks, man. It's true. <coughs> ah! Chase. Oh my goodness gracious. RC on the top side. The unicorn switches over to her. I'm gonna sneeze again. 
because the spam's all dying. <laughs> oh, bless you, Lex. Thank you, Lex. Royal Champion stuck on the Hound. Single target Inferno Tower locks onto her. This is a huge defense for X Team to kick things off in this match. Wow. Rip this super dragon attack, dude. And it all comes down to the king and the queen not getting enough value. I mean, literally, both the king and queen together got like seven buildings. They got wrecked by all those traps and the archer queen just pounding on them. Super unfortunate for Alberto, but X team are going to be super happy about that. This one falls short at 80. Five. If you like the content I'm posting every day and you want to help support the channel, make sure to use code LEXNOS in the in-game shop before you make any in-app purchases in Clash of Clans. It helps support me a ton, so thank you so much to everybody who helps support the channel. And Din is in with the next team. Next team for X team? With the next attack for X team, bringing us a Super Dragon Smash of his own. Flame Flinger over on the right. Doki. Flame Flinger should be able to pick up the scatter shot. Which, and then which side does he use Super Dragons from? I have a feeling it's the bot. Well, it might actually be the bot. He zaps the sweeper that was facing south. So I think he is going to go in from the bottom. Not sure yet. We got an archer taking out the mortar at 2 o'clock. An archer taking out the mortar at 12 o'clock. These are some bad mortar placements, not going to lie. Flame Flinger will get the Archer Tower, steps up for the Scatter Shot, looking decent. It's really good Flame Flinger value over there. There goes the Queen at 6 o'clock, and he is going to come in from the bottom. Skeleton Spell to help distract. I haven't really distracted anything helpful for this for Dragon Zone. Just distracting Expos and the King. Queen's going to step inside the wall gap. We're going to freeze up the Expo to help keep the Queen at full health. All right. One Super Dragon pathing off to the right. There's a Tesla. The Flame Flinger is going to end up dying early because of that. We do get through the Royal Champion, though. Flame Flinger's dead. We got another Super Dragon over there. We rage up as we make our way to the core. Freeze up the single target Inferno Tower. Town Hall's awake. We send King on the outside on the left. We did funnel the army camp at 9. Freeze up the single in the Town Hall. Half the Super Dragons go up top. A couple of them go down south. Ooh. Ooh, the Hound coming out. Are we going to be able to get through this Town Hall? Queen stuck on the Hound. We pop her ability. We got a Poison Spell to help support. A couple of Dragons coming back. We're sending RC. We don't have any more Freezes. We got one Rage and that's it. We're going to Rage up the Royal Champion. Queen got through the Lava Dog. RC should be able to get the Town Hall with her ability. The Queen died. Town Hall drops. Thank goodness. RC gets the Bomb Tower. We lost all the Super Dragons on the top side. <clears throat> RC gets the single Woo, at the last second. Wow, that was sketchy. And she's still alive to get the scatter while it's distracted by the king? Dude, no way. That 1 HP RC is getting everything while the king tanks. Wow, the giant bomb goes off. And look at Din Din dancing over there, showing off his iPad. That's a three star, only the king alive. Jeez, that was close, but they are two for two. Mr. Jeff is in with his attack. Here we go with a little Hydra air spam action with two lightning spells. One Inferno Baby Dragon. Okey See how he does it against this base with three single target Inferno Towers. He zap away one of those sweepers. Sure. He's gonna spam away from the bottom right side of the base, probably. I think he's the one of the gold storage on the top right. King, Queen are in. Here we go with the air spam. We use a battle blimp for the town hall. Go with the early as heck warden ability, double rage setup. Down goes the bomb tower. Lots of skeleton spells to distract these single target inferno towers. Battle blimp for the town hall is in. Okay. Dragons, dragon riders cruising through the middle of the base. There goes a rage spell. Yeti bomb to take out the town hall. Lava dog comes out though because of that. Why not just use air troops and the lava hound would never come out. Oh, I don't understand the decision making. Inferno baby locks onto the single in the core. Do we freeze to keep it alive? No, we let him die. The single stays up. There's just so many things that like he's with him. Romania are struggling today against these bases. Uh oh. RC is already dead. The queen working on the enemy RC, but that scatter shot stays up. The air troops are moving around the left side of the base, but this is going to be a defense, dude. 
Brewmania are going to start off 0 for 2. And X Team are going to have a huge advantage after the second round of attack. <clears throat> there goes the freeze on the scatter shot, but the queen's still going to die as soon as that freeze wears off. Three dragons on the left with the warden, but the air defense is going to pick them off. Most of those dragons are low on HP. We've got an archer on the top right side of the base to get some extra percent. But man, oh man, another huge defense for X Team. Peru Mania are not holding up to their number one seed title today. Looking like X Team might have a solid shot here at winning at least the first match and sending us to a bracket reset where we're going to have another match to determine the grand finals champion. We get to sit here and watch these archers for like seven and a half years. My favorite pastime is watching archers do cleanup. Oh my gosh, this takes for 45 seconds to go. He might get like 85%. That's gonna be it. <clears throat> and their first attack was also 85%. That archer on the left dies, but this archer on the right is on the storage forever. Goodness. Cameraman zooms in on it. LOL. We get to watch that OP archer. Just do her thing. I don't even think she has enough time to get the storage, does she? It's gonna be an 84. <clears throat> does she get it? Does she not? I don't know. I don't blame you if you want to fast forward through this part. Well, I wish I could fast forward, but I'm watching it live, so I can't fast forward real time. Dang it! And he runs out of time there at 84%. Jaga is in with the next attack for X team. Can he keep their triple train rolling? He's got a little Hydra attack hooked up for us here with two zaps and a clone spell. Okay. Gonna zap away the right side sweeper. Queen over at six o'clock. I'll break in toward the Eagle Artillery. Sure, sure, sure. Ice Golem to help her out. Might have deployed it a little bit too early because that Ice Golem's gonna get wrecked by the Warden Tower. And then we're gonna spam the dragons way over on the right. E Dragon to help funnel. Sure. <clears throat> there are the dragons. We got some riders in behind. Battle blimp for the town hall. King and the queen are going to get a lot of value in the southern compartment. There goes a the rage. There is a battle blimp. But why use a headhunter if you're going to pop warden ability anyway? You're lucky it's a super minion CC. That headhunter that he sent for the queen would have pulled a lava dog from the CC. I swear, it's like all these guys from both teams just don't even care about pulling lava dogs from the CC. Town Hall goes down. The Tornado Trap actually kept a lot of those balloons safe from the Giga Explosion. King died. We still got Queen on the south side with ability. We send Royal Champion from 12 o'clock. Dragons and Dragon Riders from the top side. Still alive, getting some decent value. The Warden goes down. We freeze the Inferno Tower Air Defense Expo on the left. There's still a lot of base to get through, though. A lot of base. We're going to have to pop RC ability early or no? And we're gonna go with the freeze first. Queen got to pop her ability to get through the wall. Can she at least pick up the scatter shot before she dies? I think she will. RC has her ability. We got an invis. He might still get this. E Dragon on the top side is gonna clean everything up over there. How much HP does this Dragon Rider have? No idea. Why keep the Queen alive when you could keep the Royal Champion alive? That, ugh, that's the wrong call. But I think he still gets it. <clears throat> He's still going to get it, because the Queen's just doing cleanup. The Royal Champion was way more important there to keep alive with the Invis, but luckily, she barely lives. Gets the last Tesla down. Woo, it's close, but it's a three-star, and X-Team are three for three. Chronos18 is in with the next attack. Peru Mania have to triple out and get two defenses if they want to win this match here. It's looking like it's going to be really tough for them. Kronos going in with the Queen charge hybrid. It's the same thing he used in the last match he played in. Which is to a Siege Barracks. Here we go. See how he's going to be able to do it. Where does he start? He's got three wall breakers. <clears throat> Starts with an early rage spell. Queen right on top of it. Healers to help her out. Queen to fight the King. Did he use a Headhunter? I think so. That King gets melted. Healer getting targeted by the Warden Tower, yes, but the Balloon Raged Up takes out that Warden Tower, nice. Queen will step up, Bomb Tower, we Wall Break her in toward the Town Hall. Okay. <clears throat> Are the healers going to be in range of the Giga Inferno? Yes, that's awkward. And he's not going to freeze, oh that freeze is so late. Jeez. 
Trying to get Coco Balloons to go to the Expo, but he can't. Queen will take out the Air Defense. Gonna step up for the enemy Queen. Gonna have to use another Freeze because of that Skelly Trap. That timing so unfortunate. And here we go with the Hybrid from the left. Okay, Rage up the Queen one more time. That's the last Rage we got. The CC is all the way on the back end. Queen hits the Tornado Trap. We're gonna Invis the Queen and the Healers. They're dying to Red Bombs though. We Wall Break to the Sweeper for Queen to reach the other Multi. But she's already low on HP. Gonna have to pop her ability very soon. Pops it there. Go get the Scatter. That was a nice Wall Break. Go get the other Multi as well. Okay, so that's some decent value out of the Queen. If she gets that Multi, she might even stay alive after that. We're holding on to this Warden ability. We still got CC Troops to fight. Remember, King wrapping around the outside of the base. Ooh, he's gonna get a nice Warden ability here though when the CC Troops are coming out. Gonna heal first, save the Warden ability. Lots of Archers. Headhunter working on that Builder Hut in the core. Queen picked a really dumb wall to break through. As soon as she gets the store, she just has to break through another wall. There we go with the Warden ability. Poison spell to get through all these Archers in the CC. He still might get this. It's looking decent, not gonna lie, but we're all out of spells. It's up to the Royal Champion without ability. The Queen without ability. She's just beating on a wall. She'll just be able to reach like a Builder Hut and an Air Defense. That's it. Miners, Royal Champion, King, lots of Barbarians and Wizards moving her along the outside of the base. I think he gets it. Looking good here for Kronos18 with the Queen Charge Hybrid. Tesla Farm on the outside of the base. Not going to do anything against this attack. Royal Champion picks up the cannon. He'll be able to go down south for the Wizard Tower. Nice. Down it goes, and it is indeed a three-star for Kronos18. And Perumania still have a chance in this match. Guys, I also have a mini channel, my second Clash of Clans channel, where I'm posting daily content. Link down in the description below. Go check it out right now. Hit subscribe for even more daily Clash content. Homura is in with the fourth attack for X-Team, bringing us Bacon Bats. Ooh, lots of Hog Riders, lots of Bat Spells, and he's using the Bat Spells early. Okay. All six of them down here on the south side of the base. Doing some funneling up at 2 o'clock, but look at the value these bats are getting. Do they take out the single target Inferno Tower? They do. Oh my gosh. No splash down there it means the bats can get so much value. They split. They get both Archer Towers. Ooh, not quite. The left one. Not the right one. We send King. We send Queen. We're going to go do a Sui over here on the right side of the base. Wall Wrecker for the Town Hall, and look how he places it to go take out the Archer Tower on its way. Nice. I like it. I don't think a Flame Flinger would have been better. And just use one Quake spell to wake up the Town Hall. And then the Flame Flinger could have gotten so much more value on top of it. <coughs> but, anyway. Here we go. Triple Ice Golem CC. Sneaky Goblins will take out that Town Hall. And we got Hogs and Royal Champion in from 3 o'clock. Poison spell for the Triple Ice Golem CC. The rest of the Hog Riders from the top side. Warden ability. Headhunters are in. Town Hall secured. Looking decent. Queen's still alive. Royal Champion with some hogs. Going to be pathing toward the core. We got the first heal on the top side. Second heal as we make our way to the core. Got a swag heal. I don't know if anybody's really using it except the Royal Champion. A little awkward. We freeze the scatters on the back end, but this should be crushed either way. What a plan from Homura. Another freeze for the back end scatter shot. This base is absolutely demolished. Wow. Awesome plan, bringing the ground attack. Homura getting it done, and X-Team are four for four. And as long as they don't one-star their last attack, that should secure the victory, which means we're going to go to bracket reset and have one more match between these two teams to determine the winner of the golden ticket. Jay Carlos is in with the next attack for Peru Mania. They have to triple out and hope, pray for a miracle. He's going in with a little Super Bowler action with five witches? That's a lot of witches. He's got seven zaps and a quake. And there he goes with the quake. Seven zaps are in for the Scattershot Expo. Okay, sure. Down goes those three defenses. Warden will make a nice little funnel here for the air defense. Playing on a phone. No. Wizard on the storage, minion on the bottom side. We need to wait until the air defense is down. And then he's probably going to enter from the top left and log launcher all the way through the base. If I... 
goes the air defense. Here goes the queen to pull the warden. Ice golem out in front. The bowler is a super giant. Got a lot of super giants, a lot of witches. Interesting. Here we go with more troops from the top side. Getting the spinny wheel. Uh oh. Rip the connection. Oh, we're back in. Okay. McDonald's Wi Fi for J. Carlos. Here we go. Super giant from the top. Witches over there. Log launcher to go straight through the core of the base. Everybody making their way inside. Rage to get through that first multi quickly so the log launcher stops taking damage. Royal Champion's in from the 12 o'clock side. She's going to be responsible for going and getting that scatter shot. When do we pop the Warden ability? He's being so patient. Single locks onto the Queen, so we're going to pop the Warden ability there. It's going to take us forever to get through that Lava Hound. All we have is the Queen and a couple of Witches working on it. There we go. We pop it. We use the Poison Spell for some of these pups. The Queen ability goes off. He gets the Spinny Wheel again. Up with his Wi-Fi, bro. There goes the Rage. There goes the last Freeze. We are all out of spells after that. Pro Champion going up. She's going to clear the right side of the base. We find the Tornado Trap in front of the Town Hall. Mm, but we're still going to be able to easily get the Town Hall. Can he secure the 3 star? That Giga Bomb goes off. Giga Poison killing everything, dude. It's going to be up to this Royal Champion, really. And, and if the Queen can stay alive. We got Balloons on the left to get the Cannon. The Cannon stays up barely. Queen and Warden clearing that compartment. And the RC can wrap around the outside of the base with her ability. I think she gets everything else. Nice. Down goes the cannon. There goes the ability. Boom. Wizard Tower low. I think the cannon's low as well. That's a three star for J. Carlos. Peru Mania with another triple. But X team are four for four, man. Unless Peru Mania can get a one star defense here, it's all over. Queen and Warden, RC, pick up the last couple buildings. Nice three star though to J. Carlos. Belly is in with the final attack for X team. Can they get the perfect war today? He's bringing us some Electro Dragon action. Ooh, first time we've seen Electro Dragons, I think, in this entire playoffs tournament. Wow. Queen up at 12 o'clock. Balloons, E-Dragons from the top right side of the base. Warden on air to help support. Balloons are in. Okay. Here we go. When do we pop this Warden ability? We're gonna pop it right there. Double Rage. Freeze on the right for the air defense, but that air defense is still staying up. The E-Dragon goes down. That freeze was 100% late and swag. Yikers. We get through the Eagle Artillery, please? Yes? No? Maybe. We rage up the E-Dragon on the top side. King and Queen, we wall break them in toward the Eagle Artillery. That was a battle blimp, but could switch it to a slammer or something. Bro, that air defense refuses to go down at 3 o'clock, and this E-Dragon attack is looking really, really wonky. He switches to a Flame Flinger and drops it at 6 o'clock straight into a Mortar. Okay. Queen should pick up the Town Hall with her ability. Maybe. Skelly Trap distracting. She goes for the storage first. Queen? He'll get it. He freezes to be safe. I think that was a Swag Freeze. Again, he swagged like two freezes, bro. It is a low percentage attack, but it's two stars, and that's all they needed to secure the win in this match. They will defeat Peru Mania, but remember, Peru Mania had two lives in a weird format. But this means both teams are down to their last life, and we have to respin the match, play it all over again, and this time, whoever wins the next match will be crowned the winners of this tournament and will get the golden ticket. Let's try to melee. Let's see what's in the Flame Flinger. And we still got another attack from Peru Mania to watch. Hopefully the next match is a little closer and a little more exciting. Flame Flinger steps up. Goes down to the Expo. Yeti is coming out. How much percent do they get? Part of the attack is actually pretty boring. No, so it's not a three star. Yeti's and Valkyrie split. Expo picking off the one on the right. Cannon and Mortar picking off the stuff on the left. Maybe like a 79% attack if that. Oh my, so exciting to watch these Yeti Mites. Get the barracks. Get the army camp.
more fun than watching paint dry. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The eighty-one percent attack from Melly. Fred is in with the final attack of the match, bringing us a little law low action. Let's see what he can do here against Ho Mura's face. Queen at nine o'clock. He can go into the toward the scatter shot from eight o'clock. Okay. Oh, excuse me. We want Queen to go get the town hall. RC is gonna help the king, sure. Skeleton spell, King Ability is gonna go off. Expo goes down. He might get distracted by the Queen and CC troops. I don't know if that scatter shot's gonna go. Get the first poison in early. RC gets locked onto. We're gonna need the invis. Uses the invis, makes a couple of those buildings invisible. We want her to take out the scatter shot right away. Queen pops ability and she hasn't even gotten on the town hall yet. RC ability does not go off. Why does everybody keep using these RC abilities so late? Queen gets a town hall. Queen snipes the headhunter. RC ability would have gotten like three extra defenses. Though. Rip. Queen's gonna pop the hound. We got another poison spell to help her get through it though. Go. We start the Lalo from the bottom side of the base. We still have a stone slammer to use, but both sweepers are still up. Those core air defenses still up. Could be a very difficult Lalo. We rage early. We use the skeleton spell. Is it in the wrong compartment though? We pop the warden ability. That archer queen is in the other compartment. Do we have headhunters to take her out? Yes. We almost. Scat scatter shot. Stone slammer on the right side going toward the scatter shot. Lalo make its way through the core, but we lost a lot of balloons already. We got a full health lava hound, but there's way too much of the base left. Right? Single target Inferno Tower gonna start roasting our big units. We don't have any freezes. Ooh, if that left side single sweeper builder hut had gone down, I feel like the core push would have been a little bit stronger and we could have had this. In fact, he still has a chance. Lava Hound gets out in front. We haste through that single. Let go down. Oh, the last balloon drops. Rip. And he had a normal dragon and a stone slammer. Why, bro? The dragon rider would have been 10 times better here. He still has a shot, though. If that was a dragon rider. This would be a triple for sure. But with it being a normal dragon, maybe? Warden's gonna go down, or is he? No, he survives. Wow, the timing. Right as the single was heating up. He's gonna get it. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Down goes the single. The dragon, the warden, live. It's gonna be a three star. Just enough time as well. Jeez. Nice little triple from Peru Mania to end the match here, but they're gonna fall short. 13 stars to 14. X team were just on fire today with all their attacks except that last one. We'll wait a second for the screen to pop up. X team are gonna be the winners, but that means we do have to play one more match. Peru Mania versus X team again to determine the winners of the golden ticket.